So this is three times M8 by 125 pitch. And the tolerance will be position to within a diameter of one millimeter at maximum material condition, projected tolerance zone, 25.4, a lot of stuff, to C, D at maximum material condition, and A. Whenever we started putting the circled P and the projected zone inside instead of underneath, these things got longer. Uh, and that was just in this new standard that came out. We used to put them below the feature control front. All right, now, we know that we're going to have to hold the calculated tolerance of whatever you have in there. I've got 0 0.02 to something. I know that there are three holes. And the first thing I have to do is start off holding the relative distance and angle between those three holes. So I need angle and distance between the three holes. What symbol would that be? Position, that's right. So I need position here. I need a cylindrical tolerance zone. I need a tolerance that was calculated using the fixed fastener formula, 0 0.03 or 0 0.02 maybe. I need a maximum material condition symbol here. I need a projected tolerance zone. I need the 25.4. The question really is, do I need all of the datums? And that's answered the same way as I just talked about the other part. Does this blue part, which has the clearance holes, which will receive the bolt and thread into our threaded holes, touch or engage datum feature C? So C must be held within the tighter tolerance. Does that blue part touch or engage datum feature D, which is the center hole? Yes, yeah, so D must be brought down. Now. What I'm about to do is I'm dangerously close in wiping out the entire upper level control. Because remember, as soon as I repeated this position symbol, this level had as much power as the upper level position symbol did, because it is a separate symbol. So everything that I've done down here that I also did in the upper level, I've done better because the tolerance is tighter. And if A gets brought down, the entire upper level control is wiped out. And we found out that we really couldn't help it out at all. But I think we won't find that out. Because I don't believe that blue part touches or engages data may, does it? And so the only thing that we can hold the looser tolerance to is the relationship to data may. So we can say while measuring at the angle of C and what orientation D gives us, we have to hold the angular relationship of the three-hole pattern to A. So it's the same setup but it allows a bigger rotation. Now let me show what that means. <coughs> there is a bolt circle. And this bolt circle is 90 millimeters, is that correct? 90 millimeter bolt circle for the three hole pattern? Okay, so let me uh, do that first. Got our 90 millimeter bolt circle. And there is a datum axis. That axis is called D. And I'm going to draw right down through there. And somewhere down here is datum plane A. And certainly, we've got this 120 degree angle held between the holes. And according to this new feature control frame, we've got a nice big positional tolerance of one millimeter. So here it goes. Now this tolerance zone is locked in. It can't do anything. All of its spatial degrees of freedom are gone. C, D, and A locked it in. It can't rotate, it can't move, it can't lean, it can't do anything. Now the smaller zones, I'm going to draw inside of here. And I'll start them right here. These are the .02 zones. So let me just say that they've got three of these. And they are, in this case, .02 the lower level control. The only degree of freedom that these have is the degree of freedom that A affords them. And that degree of freedom doesn't allow them to depart from the correct distance from D. They still have to hold that because D is in the lowest level of control. They still have to maintain their distance and angle from one another. They still have to maintain their perpendicularity to C. So what can they do? They can rotate, but they got to rotate as a group. 
And so consequently, this tolerant zone might end up all over here. But if it does, because it's rotated in that direction, this one would rotate with it. And that's rotated in the same direction, and so this one might end up over here. And so consequently, what we end up holding is the correct distance from D. We're still 45 millimeters out for each of these. And we've also held the correct angle between the holes, or at least between the tolerant zones, which will contain the axes of the holes. We're still 120 degrees apart from the, from the uh, tolerant zones. But what we did not hold is we did not hold the angle to A. And that's the only thing we were able to do on this. Not much. And it might not even be worth it. You might say, well, Jim, if I got to go through all this just to allow the bigger rotation to A, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. That's up to you. All I want to make sure of is you know how if you decide to do it. Mm -hmm.